and uh, uh, good friend Cameron um, and Chris, who's here tonight, and uh, myself went off to Boston for Lean Startup Machine. And you know, I'm, I'm, my background's in like software development and kind of agile. I know a lot of tricks and tips and really like ways to create software, uh, high quality software in a sustainable fashion. And I was blown away by my experience um, in Boston. And I told Trevor, one of the organizers of the event, it's like, how do we get Lean Startup Machine to Toronto? You know, these, these, <coughs> the, you know, there's a vibrant kind of software <laughs> tech community in Toronto. And, and how do we get um, introduce these ideas? And uh, this is why we're here tonight. Um, so thank you for coming. Um, <clears throat> there's gonna, there's, I, I don't have, there's no big presentation um, or anything like that. I, I think Max will have a few words. Um, we have uh, Carolyn and Jerry are here. They totally kind of handle sponsorship. If, you, if there's a, you know, you interested in kind of contributing, how can you contribute to this event and community? Um, they're happy to kind of answer any questions. Um, Max, would you like to say a few words? Yeah. Did you hear from Trevor about that thing? <laughs> <laughs> what thing? The thing. The big thing. The super massive, massive thing. thing. <laughs> I haven't heard from Trevor. Why don't you go call thing? him uh, in the hallway? Okay, okay. Take care of this. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Max Cameron. Uh, this is my office. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm the co-founder of Big Bang Technology. I help organize Lean uh, Startup Machine Toronto. I'm active in the Lean Coffee PO community. I'm going to take four minutes of your time because Jason took more than that, and that was just too much. <laughs> okay, um, I want you all to sign up for LSM Toronto, and I want you all to attend. And I'm going to tell you why I think it's worthwhile. Uh, before I went to Boston, I was going to Lean Coffee, and I thought Lean was pretty cool because you could learn how to build products without failing for months and months and not realize why nobody used your product. And I was really attracted to that, to that idea because of the epic failures I had continuously produced in my company. So when we got the opportunity to, uh, to go and put it into practice during a really intense weekend <coughs> boot camp in Boston, I, I jumped at the opportunity. And I had zero hesitation that I needed to book a flight get a hotel room in Boston, and, and I knew it was going to be great. It was a leap of faith, and it did not disappoint. So you get there, you form teams around product ideas, and instead of just hacking <coughs> away at them over the weekend and hoping to release some, some, some code, uh, the, it, the emphasis is getting your idea validated by customers. Not only getting it validated, but you know, hopefully <coughs> generating revenue. Um, at the end of the weekend, you're judged by a group of you know, VCs, angels and other co-founders uh, and they look at what you produced and what you've learned and how you've changed your product uh, based on those learnings and, and and that's what it's all about right the rewards are secondary to the fact that you know you remove all boundaries and all roadblocks when you decide to go and meet with your customers I, I worked on a product that was geared towards coffee shop owners and it was an amazing experience to walk down the streets of Boston enter a coffee shop, pitch an idea to a coffee shop owner, and get rejected. Uh, it was fantastic. It, was, it reminded me of like going out on Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> the good part was you could learn about it. And you came back to a team that supported you. And you said, here's what we learned. How are we going to change your idea to make something that people will buy? right?" And so that's the pivot. right? That's like the overused term, pivot. Um, you got to change a part of your business model while you know keeping your vision the same. Right? You head back out and you go hit the streets, back to the coffee shops, and you go and you sell. And the primary value that I gained, um, and what I put to use every single day ever since attending that workshop, that boot camp in, in Boston, was uh, not being afraid. You know, not being afraid to talk to a stranger, not being afraid to ask somebody to buy, not being afraid to put yourself on the line admit that you don't always have the right answers and uh, you know just trust that you will if you communicate with your customers. So yeah, that's how we brought to Toronto. It needs to happen. Why isn't it happening here? So we invited you here tonight to learn about the event and learn about why we found it valuable to go down last year in Boston. Uh, and I want to say that um, we have great mentors lined up. People like Alyssa Richard who work really hard on Rate Hub. Uh, we have people like Satish Kanwar working hard at Jet Cooper. We've got representatives from the working group. We have uh, a young man named Pete Vestito who is, you know, putting customer development to use every day. Um, we have, you know, 
some cool VCs, and I don't like a lot of VCs, but I met a cool one tonight. Um, they're going to be there to give you feedback, and when it comes to, you know, when you're ready to pitch, you need to know what these people think. You need to know how they think and what they find important. So hopefully you'll learn that as well. Um, we have a discount code that we're going to be distributing tonight. It'll take $100 off of your ticket, uh, and it's going to expire, ideally, you know, at midnight. Um, so I want you to leave here with that tonight. Grab your tickets. I want you to come. I want you to buy. My time is up. Drink some more beer. It's free for tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.